Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 17, and this is war number 9. And we're going up against an alliance called Gods of Destruction. So we're going to find out if they live up to their name. Now, if you've been following my Alliance War videos, you know that I take Path 1. And I bring Gladiator Hulk, who I recently ranked to 5. And he is king of this path. Now, you'll notice that they did not place a defender on that first node. That is common. Uh, you don't want to waste your best defenders on this path, especially if you know folks can bring a gladiator hulk. So we're fighting against this blade. And I remember when blade gave me a little bit of difficulty on some nodes. But on this path, it's all Gladiator Hulk. And as you can see here, Gladiator Hulk not having any problem. Uh, this path is Starburst, if you are unfamiliar with that. It does a passive degen, and it activates Hulk's Face Me. When Hulk has Face Me active, he heals instantly 70% of the damage dealt, and he deals a lot more damage. So, we got done with our path, and you'll see that mini there is Thing, but it's also on Psychic Thorns. So, one of my alliance mates who takes that path always brings a champion to take that uh, mini boss, and it's just easier to have him go ahead and take it. Now, normally, I do not take any of these minis here, but you'll see that there's a Korg over there. And I just so happen to have brought Omega Red. And since I am generally the Korg killer in my BG, I, you know, for AQ anyway, I bring Havoc to a, um, AQ. And Havoc destroys Korg every time. No problems. However, so does Omega Red. Now, I may not be as familiar with fighting Korg with Omega Red, but you'll see it was not too difficult at all. All right, now you see I'm boosting up because I'm taking this fight seriously. I believe that I can take him, but, you know, the node, I forget what the node has on it. Um, aggression something, I believe. Um, let's see, we'll go in. And I think I'm going to take a look at the nodes here. See, what do we got? Yeah. So they have flow. It's aggression armor. All right. So not too difficult uh, to deal with. You want to be aggressive so they don't build up that armor, especially on Korg. All right. So you'll see what I'm doing here. I'm not trying to dex. Uh, that's a good way to get him to go unstoppable and unblockable. All right, so you see here I'm intercepting, shattered it. Now I'm going to bait out a special two. All right, there we go. And then I go back in, do as much damage as I can. Uh, while his rock shield is down, I can parry him, no problem. I fire off a special two to get that death field back up. Uh, so this Omega Red is my six star, and I took him to rank two. And you'll notice that he's not awakened but I'm not having any difficulty. So whether he needs to be awakened or not depends on if you're running suicides. I'm running suicides. He does not need to be awakened. As you can see here, no problems whatsoever. All right, I have no regrets, zero regrets taking him to rank two, uh, unawakened. Now, if I can get him um, awakened, and get some SIG levels on him, uh, he would be a candidate for rank three. Uh, unfortunately, his prestige is not that great, so I might have to take someone else up for prestige, but you can see he's tearing it up. And that's an unawakened rank two. Now, I know some people disagree with me. Um, they would not invest the resources to take him up unawakened. That's fair, but I have no regrets. 
All right, so after taking that mini down and I'm still boosted, I'm going to keep on going. You'll notice that they did not place a defender on that first node in section two, path two. So I kind of lucked out there. Um, otherwise, I would have just, you know, steamrolled whoever it was. Now we're fighting Iceman. And I hate when they do this because Iceman has all of that damage that you're going to take, you know, unless you have someone that can counter him. Now, I scouted my path out. I always do before I go in. So I already knew that I wasn't going to have any problem taking this Iceman. Now, if you've watched in the past, I'll take this Iceman with my uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. This time, I decided to just go ahead and continue using Omega Red. Uh, Omega Red can heal a little bit where my, stealth, uh, my Stark Enhanced Spider-Man cannot. Um, but I do love fighting with Stark Enhanced Spider-Man, but we'll see. Uh, it may be that after this season, I may switch up my team. Gladiator Hulk is still going to be there as long as I'm taking Path 1. Uh, Omega Red is going to come. He's very useful. Now, the third member, I'm not sure. I've got a few options. If people continue to use Flow, I may start bringing guillotine 2099 with me she does very well uh, against flow all right so down goes iceman and when i came back you saw that that mini was down however we discussed it ahead of time and uh you know there's three of us on that left side so i took that mini uh korg and i'm about to take this next one here uh that is quite difficult now I made a mistake, um, and not really a mistake. It was more out of ignorance. Uh, when I selected, because we discussed this before we went into the um, Alliance War, who was going to take what minis? And when I saw that Korg, I was like, oh, yeah, that Korg is mine. And I also said I would take this Heimdall. Now, Here's where I kind of, you know, just out of ignorance. Remember I said they had flow. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with how flow works, but if you are a control champion, which means you have the hashtag control in your tags, then when you get a crit against them, they gain power. That's why guillotine 2099 would be perfect because she doesn't crit. So... It kind of, it just negates that altogether. But anyone that crits against a control champion is going to have to deal with their power. So when I selected this one, uh, I was thinking, all right, it's a, you know, special one lock. You see there, special lock one. And I'm like, okay, we should be good. You know, there's the uh, defense tactics flow. All right, now you see here, I did not know and I kind of glanced at it very briefly, but I didn't realize that Heimdall uh, had that hashtag. So I was taking just an extra precaution here by popping in that invulnerability boost. And you're gonna see that came in very handy. All right, so we go up against him here. All right, and we're going in. Things are looking good here, all right? Um, I'm going slow, trying to do the heavies. All right, he got true strike up. I fired a heavy off, got rid of the true strike, and we're doing well, but I'm noticing his power gain. You see his power gain going up. That's flow. All right, every time you crit, they get a power gain for, um, I think, what is it, 10 seconds or something like that. All right, and you see I'm backed against the wall now. All right, I'm trying to fight my way out, but it's hard because of flow. And he, you know, Omega Red doesn't have any power control. All right. So you see here, boom, one indestructible charge gone. I'm trying to evade. Boom. Second indestructible charge gone. Only one left. Boom. Now, no indestructible charges left. Okay. Finally, I got to evade uh, his uh, attacks and got out of that corner. All right. And here we go with that special two that I do not know how to deal with. And I'm back in the corner. He is just ripping me up. 
So I'm backing up. I'm trying to get out of this corner here. All right. And there he goes. He's got a special two. All right. We got him another special two. Bam. And I'm just like, oh, my goodness. Am I just going to get wrecked here? So I'm fighting. I'm fighting off the wall. Here we go. Trying to get a little bit of health back. Boom. We got it back. But look at this. Oh, almost got a special three. Hit me with another special two. And bam. I go down hard. I was not prepared to deal with that power gain like that. And I was ticked. I couldn't be upset with anybody except myself. You know, when you go into a fight like this and you don't realize that the champion that you're fighting is a control champion and they have flow, that I hate flow. I hate flow with a passion and it changes up your style unless you go in there with someone. Now, if I had guillotine 2099, that fight wouldn't have been that bad. Okay, he would have not gotten to a special two more than likely. All right, so I may have to start bringing her in. So that was one death. I was able to take the mini down, but then I died. And I hate dying. I hate it with a passion. But um, we kept going, and I was asked for another mini. Okay, we were trying to take about two minis a piece if we could if there's someone that we feel comfortable with. Now that's a debuff immune node, but it's magic. And that is difficult unless you have uh, the right champions for that because she's gonna be getting limbo like crazy because magic is a control champion. And you add flow on top of that, she's gonna be getting a lot of power. And so her limbo, more than likely is going to just keep going off. And so uh, one of our guys, uh, he got limbo to death. I mean, he did the best he could, and he just got limbo to death. So you see here uh, how much health he was able to get off of her uh, before limbo killed him. But I'm going in with Gladiator Hulk. He is made to deal with magic. So I want you to watch. When she gets limbo, I want you to watch uh, Gladiator Hulk's health. Okay. So he debuff immune, so I can't stun her. All right, there's Limbo. Look at his health. He's instantly healing 70% of that Limbo damage. Okay, now even though she can't be stunned, I can fire off a special one and prevent her from healing back her health from the Limbo. Right there, I did a special two, which has a little bit of power control on it. You know, for a little bit of time, uh, very, very short, you can hit her and she won't gain any power. So it puts that innervate on her. All right. But you see here, she's getting all that limbo. But even though it's hurting, somebody else would have gone down more than likely by this time. But Hulk, he's healing it up like a champ. Okay. And you see, I'm just backing off a little bit. And what helped a lot in this fight is that they had suicides. It would not have saved them if they had placed without suicides it would have just made the fight go a little bit longer. That's all. Um, all right. But you see here, we're doing it. All right. I'm backing off here because once I saw that they had suicides, I started just baiting out specials. And she was really free with specials. Once I got her down low enough that I felt that the special three would get her, then I hit her with that special three. Hulk smash. All right. So that's going to do it for my participation. Let's find out how we did in this war. All right, and we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. We're actually doing pretty well. We've only lost one war this season. And we are making a push for platinum. Uh, last season, uh, we finished somewhere in gold. I forget uh, what level, but we're making a push for platinum and we are on target so far to get back in platinum. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Uh, click like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you thought about the fighting and uh, just how you enjoyed this video. And you all have a blessed day.